Error resilience is critical if you want to achieve ubiquitous access to video conferencing over the public internet. Here's a demonstration of how video compares to legacy H.264 systems. For this demonstration, we limited bandwidth to 1 megabit per second for all calls, resolution was set to 720p at 30 frames per second, and imposed a network delay of 40 milliseconds. For this initial demonstration, no packet loss has been introduced here, but both legacy and video systems are constrained to 1 megabits of bandwidth. Pay close attention to the detail in the face. You'll notice as the hands pass by, there's some video artifacts left behind in the legacy system that just aren't there in video. As these clips play again, notice that video achieves better video quality at the same bit rate, disproving competitor claims that SVC implemented in video's architecture is inefficient compared to AVC commonly used in legacy systems. Now we'll begin introducing packet loss. As you watch these comparative clips, you decide at what point either system becomes uncomfortable to use. Starting at just 2% packet loss, the legacy system exhibits video artifacts which are completely absent from the video system. As packet loss increases, video leverages spatial scalability from the SVC toolbox to drop some resolution details but preserves fluid natural video, whereas the legacy system experiences pauses in video and frozen frames. With or without packet loss, at the same bit rate, video always outperforms legacy H.264 based video conferencing solutions. While it's not likely that you'll experience 20% sustained packet loss in most IP networks, it's not at all uncommon to experience bursts of packet loss up to 20% and beyond.